So I see a lot of people are paying attention to what's going on in Cuba, but a lot of people aren't paying attention to what's going on in America and the correlation between the two. So I'm going to read to you some words from a Cuban American who immigrated to America during Castro's regime. Castro rose to power due to a thirst for equality from among the people. He gave us equality, all right? Equal misery for all. Castro nationalized the banks and all businesses. Many entrepreneurs fled the island, taking with them jobs and ingenuity. That's what socialism does. It scares away capitalists and leaves the country empty and powerless. First order of business in Castro's revolution was to disarm the citizens. People ask me, why haven't the Cubans overthrown the Castros? How can you beat an army of Russian-backed murderers with sticks and stones? It's not illegal to own a firearm in Cuba, but they are heavily sanctioned, and you're going to be hard-pressed to find one. And if you can find one, you're going to be hard-pressed to find ammo. They do not import new guns, and also the ones that are found illegally, they are destroyed. Let's get back into this. This didn't happen overnight. It started with leftist propaganda, especially in the universities. Cuban youth were indoctrinated into hating capitalist America and brainwashed into thinking equal pay for everyone, free health care and education would make Cuba a utopia. These ignorant people don't know how scarce aspirin is in Cuba. Does that sound familiar? If that doesn't sound familiar, you should look up Yanomi Park, a defector from North Korea. Let's finish this up and summarize. The things I witnessed in Cuba, I see happening here in the United States today. Leftist messaging on TV, constant brainwashing 24-7. The schools are teaching our kids to hate their own country. And the Democrats use racial division to instigate their agenda. Many Americans don't see this, and I understand why. You have to live it to understand it. And if you don't understand that these kids are being taught to hate America, there's a video on YouTube by Campus Reform you should go look up. I sure do hope my Americans wake up and realize that you're being indoctrinated and you're being brainwashed into hating your own country. Most are actually cheering for what they call democratic socialism, which is just socialism. The saddest part is I would happily trade anyone who says that they hate America for these Cubans who are over there fighting against socialism and communism. You want socialism and communism? North Korea, Cuba. There you go.